Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And of course, you see who we're going to be discussing. Good things about him, bad things about Kanye. Because what is being told out in the streets, they're saying that he didn't like Mr. Virgil Abloh. He didn't like him. Mm -mm. But you take pictures with him and you probably give him the impression that you like him, but you really don't. You really don't? That's what Kanye is saying. But we get our source from complex.com, C-O-M-P-L-E-X.com. And they're giving us some information on Kanye West and his feelings about uh, Virgil. Okay. It was by Brad Kalelis. And um, he must write for complex.com. But he titled his article, Kanye says he felt pain and jealousy after Virgil Abloh was appointed to Louis Vuitton position. Okay. Everybody who's anybody knows about Louis Vuitton, okay? Yes. We're going into the story. It says, in a new interview with French outlet Click TV, Kanye West spoke about how he felt after Virgil was appointed artistic director of Louis Vuitton's Men Branch. No one knows I've been offered the deal by Bernard Arnock. Ye said at the 1235 mark of the interview, no one knows the deal was pulled. I used to call myself the Louis Vuitton Don. Really now, Kanye, really? You would say this after the fact that the man is deceased? Hmm, why you didn't have the smoke for him when he was alive? But going on into the article again, it says Kanye mentioned that Bernard's son, Alexandre, told him that the co-founder of Louis Vuitton, M.H., never goes back on his word. Three months after that, they dropped the deal, West shared. After Ye's deal fell apart, Louis Vuitton named Virgil the creative director of its men line. Kanye admits that Ablo appointment made him feel a lot of pain and jealousy. Hmm. Okay, so you're just throwing it out there for everybody to know that you were not fond of, um... Virgil, when he got the position as uh, the design person, the creative director of the men's line. All right. Uh, it, it isn't the first time Kanye has opened up about he felt following Virgil securing his role at LV. There is some validation in the fact that someone that I came up with is now the head of Louis Vuitton, was told Charlemagne the God in 2018. When asked how he found out Virgil had landed the job, Kanye revealed Ablo called him two minutes before it hit the internet. The breakthrough with Virgil is now we have someone who comes from Donda, who's come from the school of Kanye West. Some people have to do things just to prove that they can be done. Whether they become the billionaire on the other side of it, he said Obama went into that office as public servant in a service position. It didn't matter the amount of money or ownership. The world needed to see that this is a possibility for Virgil. It's like the world just needs to see things. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it's true because we like to show and prove. We like to show and prove. And Brother Man could dress. He had the art of, or the artistry, I should say, of the fashion I and that's basically what solidified the job other than him being fly when he walk out okay and fly means very expensive looking dressed you know what I'm saying all right 
But going back to the article, it said Virgil passed away in November of 2021 following a battle with cancer. He was 41. Early this week, Kanye experienced backlash after wearing a t-shirt with the phrase White Lives Matter during his YZYSZN9 presentation that took place in Paris on Monday. The Chicago artist also doubled down on Tuesday calling Black Lives Matter a scam. He have since been ripped by countless critics, including Diddy, Bootsy, Badass, and Jaden Smith, among others. So, what do y'all think about that, guys? But I'm getting ready to see if this video would play that he did with uh, Complex.com. Okay, let's see. Will it play for us? Hey, Kanye. Hey, hey, what's good? Welcome back to Click. Thank you. I have to tell you uh, that you gave us a lot of strength. You gave us a lot of inspiration, and we own you a lot. And when you came here, you decided to make a new interview concept. You said, I want 20 minutes to speak, so we're going to have a countdown, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. So, in 20 minutes... It's hard to talk with you because I had the chance to spend a few moments with you today and I heard a lot of ideas spreading. But right now, everybody's talking about a lot of stuff about you and you talk a lot on your social media. First, I want to know, why do you use the social media to express yourself? I just figure if Elvis Presley had social media that he would have got to perform overseas. His management and his handlers squashed his opportunities and his dreams and he ended up dying from that so i use my social media to express myself people call me and they'll say are you okay and i'm like yes i'm okay because i express myself we're living in a world where expression is becoming illegal they try to make it where you can't have an opinion or people have uh, their own political opinion social agenda and financial control ideas that they want to put out and if you disagree with that then you're the person that's at fault if you actually have a difference of an opinion of what the media is putting out then the entire uh then they have a group set of people that will go up and attack you do you think that today you're stronger than the media's well god is stronger and I'm being used by God to make sure that we still remain free. What is freedom for you? Uh, freedom is freedom is expression. Uh, freedom is family. Uh, freedom is focus. Freedom is clarity. Freedom is organization. Uh, uh, freedom is opinion. You know, and freedom is being able to understand your opinion, understand yourself. Like, why are you making this opinion? Is it something that the media has told you to do? Or is it something that you really feel in your heart? Because God's going to put a feeling in your heart. And for the world to be as beautiful as it can be on earth as it is in heaven as we pray, uh, we have to follow our heart. What... Um did you want it to, to express when you do the the White Life Matters t-shirts? You know, at a certain point, it felt like I saw white people wearing shirts that said Black Lives Matter. Like, they were doing me such a favor by having a t-shirt that reminded me that my life mattered. Like, I didn't already know that. So I thought it, I thought I returned the favor. Hold on, we got technical difficulties. Lord, I'm sorry, I tell you the truth. Every time I want to do, uh... I want to give y'all some extra auto. Something always goes wrong with it. 
Tow gun it. Okay, let's see if I can get it back. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. But maybe I have to do a follow up on this story. But he was just getting into the piece de resistance of telling us why he felt like he needed to put that out. Mm. And we were shooting for that because he did make a point of saying he basically felt if the white people are going to wear Black Lives Matter, he could also wear uh, a shirt that says White Lives Matter. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Complicated Kanye West at his finest. Um, let me see if I can get it. Get it to... Hold on, guys. Let's see if we can try this way to make it play. <laughs> Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, man. Okay. It's not showing me, so I might have to do a follow-up video for that. Because it's not giving me the same article I wanted with Kanye expressing himself. Hmm. <sighs> All right, guys, we're going to conclude this video until I can find the video and we'll do an updated one. All right, well, other than that, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.